One dog down. You're stuck in here with me, you fucking mutt. Alright, welcome back to Resident Evil. I'm currently about to go run around and finish grabbing everything in the mansion. Because I don't think I'll be coming back here. So I'm going to do a quick montage of me running around and getting stuff. Herb. Shotgun shells. More shotgun shells. Hell yeah. Ink ribbons. I'm so fucked, dude. <laughs> oh no, I got him. How many fucking shots does it take? I thought it was two. Come on. I'm gonna go back to the box really fast. Where is he? Reaction time wasn't quite good enough. Don't tell- Why did you shove a fucking grenade in the dog's mouth, you goddamn moron? What a waste, dude. Well, now I don't have any defense items, I don't think. It's too bad Chris a goddamn idiot. It's no wonder this ding-dong couldn't put together some fucking chemicals. His bright ideas consist of shoving grenades inside of dogs' mouths. I know there's a way I can turn that ability off, where it, like, auto-places shit, but I just forgot. Oh well. Fuck, I forgot about this. Okay, I got him. One dog down. You're stuck in here with me, you fucking mutt. Okay, that's awesome. Come on. Come on. Get the fucking dog off you. Why is he humping me? I died? Why did he just let the dog tear out his fucking guttural? Hey, this time I'm ready for these shit asses. Got that one. Come on. Okay, those guys are all down. I brought all of my shotgun ammo and a first aid spray, because I'm not patient. <laughs> I'm getting through this shit, and I want all these items. Got it. Tactical. Alright, time for this again. Come on. Tactical play there. Save me more shotgun shells. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. There we go. Okay. Very happy with how that went. Now, apparently I'm missing something in here, so I'm gonna look for it. Dagger. Magazine. Okay. I took a little pee break and finished collecting everything and storing it all the way. I'm currently holding the crank and the battery. I'm gonna grab some of the stuff in here, like these shells, specifically. Take those. And this first aid spray. And put them in the box. Now to get this first aid spray and go to the courtyard. Let's pop the battery in place, turn the water off, and let's go behind the waterfall. Okay, now that we're down here, I'm going to put some stuff away and grab new stuff. Okay, I don't remember quite what I need for this section. 
So I just have my pistol and my shotgun. I'll grab stuff as I need it. But I'm going to try to fly through this bit. Because I remember it being kind of easy. Okay. What's over here? That's an herb. This is the thing with the shaft, is it not? Oh, yeah. Give me that shaft. Ah, yes, Enrico. Don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, well, uh... Enrico! Well, that's not very helpful information at all, man. Double crosser. Also, um, spoilers for those of you who aren't familiar with the game, but it is 22 years old now. Or older. If you consider that the original came out in 96. Um, why the hell did Wesker just not shoot Chris right then? <laughs> yeah, I'll take that crank. Oh, what the fuck? Was this here last time? Okay, well, he's down. Good to know I can kill them with two shotgun shots and a pistol shot, because before I'd been using three shotgun shots. Grab this mag. Also grab this mag. Very convenient, because I'm running over to the box. Why the hell are there hunters down here? I did not have this problem as Jill. That'll work. Alright. I reloaded and put away that stuff. Now I've got this. I'm gonna crank this wall. Now, to my recollection, this is the part with the big scary spider. But, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of shotgun ammo. I say a lot, a lot, a lot. I have 10 shotgun ammo. Fairly confident that'll put him down. Also got the herb. This was not here the first time. Dude, cool. Oh, but yeah, that locks that door, doesn't it? Yep, let's keep running. Dude, nice. I love hyper-athletic cornball macho shit like that. That's why some of my favorite movies are like First Blood and Terminator. Commando. Blade. Oh, come on. Right, that's the door that has the big scary spider. So, what I'm gonna do is put this back. Can I not do that? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this back. And then go fuck around with the item box for a second and then go kill that guy. Oh my god, dude, why? They're fucking everywhere, you bastard piece of shit. Pull up the fucking inventory, you dumbass! God 
Damn, dude. I'm not going back to, like, grab more shit. I'm... You don't even know, dude. The video is probably only, like, 10 to 12 minutes in for you guys right now, if that. I've been playing for at least 45. I ran out of patience for doing tedious shit a long time ago. Matter of fucking fact, give me this. Okay, yeah, that's sweet. That's sweet! Why the fuck is he chasing me like this? What am I supposed to do? He's spitting on me. No. No, come on. Ah, uh, fuck me. This is a loaded dick. I won't be fighting like this, dude. I understand this is not an honorable way to kill a boss. I don't care. I will take that knife. Yes, okay. I need to run back and go unpoison myself. Oh my god, there's little baby spiders. Okay, I'm back in here with the knife. Whoops. So I'm gonna cut this up. Alright. I don't remember what the hell's on the other side of this door. But... I probably need the flamethrower. Where am I? Also, I think I missed the map. Oh wait, no, is that the map? Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Well, never mind then. I'm not going to pick up any of this. I'm just going to remember that it's here and I'm going to keep going. Okay. I don't remember this area. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. I almost just threw myself into the pit. Let me go grab that crank and the flamethrower. Okay. I couldn't bring the flamethrower with me. I had to put it in the like, slot, the rack. Let me use this again. Because um, one of the doors locked on the way here. All right, third time works. And now is when the ball gets rolling. Yep. Fuck. Oh, dude, I thought I got it right there. <laughs> okay. Now, I can go check out what's over here. I think. Yep. Cool. Alright, there was a first aid spray in that box. I don't really remember any of this underground area. Uh, I do remember this, though. Damn it. Speed up to when I'm done with it. Okay. Now this gets me... Oh yeah, the thing that gets combined with the shaft. Okay, time to run back over there. Okay. Time to put the shaft in the hole. And close the lid. Ah, oh, man, I gotta see if I remember how to do this. Yeah, first try, yeah. I do remember. Now, I wasted some time that you guys won't see trying to grab the flamethrower because I thought I needed the flamethrower whenever I went further down in here with this elevator, but it wouldn't let me take it. And I tried putting down the assault shotgun in place of it so that I could get rid of the assault shotgun temporarily and then, you know, take the flamethrower with me, but that wasn't an option either. So... Not sure what I'm supposed to do, but I do remember one of the first things I do over here is I get a box and I have to break it and grab a broken flamethrower. That's right. Yep, there she is. Hi, Lisa. Uh, leave me be. Um, just wow, these are some 
fuck ass camera angles. I'm just gonna go in here. I think this is where that box is, and I have to send it all the way back, and then grab the broken flamethrower, and then fuck around in here for a bit. At least I think. Bye bye, boxy. Okay, let's push it and break it, I think. Yeah, I gotta go put it in the trash compactor. Now I'm hoping that's got the broken flamethrower. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I'm back over here. Going to flip the lever. Grab the green herb, grab the red herb, flip the lever again because it's apparently on a timer, and place the broken flamethrower. Now, I think this is her quarters. Yep. Pretty sick, disgusting, gross place we got going on here. There's apparently something in here, though. Don't care, just gonna run. I can't seem to find whatever the hell it is. So I'm just gonna keep going. And I think in here is where this box is. Let's see if I remember how to open this. I know I needed some sort of item. Oh, never mind. It just opens. Okay, I got the stone ring. I grab this dagger. Climb the ladder. Make more space in my inventory. Grab the green herb. Keep her going. Oh yes, that's right. It brings me back here. But the problem is, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do once I'm here. Okay, I did in fact remember what I'm supposed to do next, and that's grab this other stone and metal object. Also combine that stone ring with the metal object that I had in my box. And now I can go run over to that one area that's like in the lobby, those doors in the basement. Okay, time to place one. I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. And time to place two. So now I can go through here and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I am holding on to my pistol, the assault shotgun, all the extra shells I have, and then one medkit thingy. Or whatever the hell it's called. Oh, okay, there's a box here. Fuck it, I'll grab a couple more things then. I grabbed another first aid spray and all of my pistol ammo. Though I know she doesn't take damage. I just, I know I'm need to like stun her so that I can get rid of her. Okay. Here we go. You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. Oh hey. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work over here. I forgot how gross she is. Get the shooting, Wesker. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck me. What was that? Ah! Forgot she can scream. We're speed running the fuck out of this. Okay, that's not good. Oh, okay. Wesky. Wanna shoot her, buddy boy? Waiting for her to jump. Uh, she's not feeling it right now, though. Swing and a miss. Come on, let's get going. Oh my fuck. Depth perception is not great. There we go. Look at how easy it is when you know what you're doing. Alright, 
Bye bye, Lisa. This really does have quite a tragic backstory. What's up, Wesky? this area a little further. Okay. So will I. You're not special just because you have sunglasses and look really cool. Here goes the wolf metal. Okay. And here goes the lion metal. So now I can get into the labs. This is a very productive episode. I'm feeling good about what I've got going on. I like this game a lot. I really do like playing as Chris. He's a little different than Jill. He's far more tedious, man. I've had to go to the box so much as Chris. But I've also done a lot better as Chris. Most of that is because I know how to play the game now, and I know what I'm looking for and what I'm doing. So I'm not as stressed anymore about trying to figure out puzzles and whatnot. But that time now not spent on puzzles is spent instead on going back to the box and things like that, you know. Now I'm in the labs. I'm gonna pick up these ink ribbons really fast. Probably swing a save and heal as well. But I'm gonna chat for a second. Um, I've already begun to get prepared for it. Let's see. It being the end of Resident Evil 1. And I didn't mean to do that. Uh, whenever I'm done with Resident Evil 1, I will be moving on to the Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, that's not to say that Resident Evil 1 stuff is entirely off the table. Especially not for, like, ever. But, uh, the main story is, um, one of the things I've thought to do is to try and do like a long play of the game because I'm pretty confident I could do it fast if I were playing as Jill. Mostly because she has the extra inventory slots. So I'd like to do a long play of that where I'm kind of trying to speed run shit. And then another idea I had, I won't share it with you just because I don't want to get your hopes up. I don't know if it's plausible, but yeah, I'll be moving on to Resident Evil 2 Remake after this. And then after that will probably be like Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, maybe? Or Zero. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. But that's all I've got for you guys at the moment. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're feeling up for it. Be on the lookout for the finale tomorrow. And I'll see you in the next video. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me oh Oh, just let me oh